Hi, I'm Barry Burnout, 70s rock star, and you're watching Get a Lifestyle, the Doll Network's new and informative show about you, people from Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane. Ready? Go. Burn couch, I love you. Tonight is a special treat for our selected demographic. We'll be crossing live to the annual Bastard Landlords Conference and Ceremony Night. Stay tuned for that one a bit later in the show. Now, Steve Denley has a special report on path hosing. Over to you, Steve. Are you still using conventional methods to clean yeah. up the backyard? Well, step aside. Really? Wow, that is fucking amazing! It's clean as a whistle! Yes, it always works well. Good for the environment too. What do you think about the legalisation of marijuana? I think it's a good move. Excellent. Um, do you believe people get sucked into fashion? Yep, for sure. Alright, thanks mate. What stupid question was that? It's a simple question, what colour is your couch? Well, ask me about world affairs. What's, what's... Uh, do you think marijuana should be legalised? Of course. Indie television, we're just wondering what colour your couch is. It's white. White. What do you think on the legalisation of marijuana? Um, oh, I better not make any comment. I work in the field. Fair enough. No worries. <laughs> um, marijuana just... field. Drug and, drug and alcohol. All right. So no comment at all on that. No, no comment. Right. Do you think people are suckers for fashion? Yes. In what way? Um, advertising gets to everyone in the end, I think. Yeah. Do you see a lot of suckers around here? Yeah, I think I do actually. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good day. Just wondering what colour your couch is. Oh, oh. Oh, couch. <laughs> Shit. You got me here, oh. I think it's a grey type. Yeah. What do you think on the legalisation of marijuana? I don't like it. Why is that? I don't drink much. No, uh, marijuana. No, I touch it. Fair enough. Hi, welcome to Handy Home Hints. I'm Primrose Pussnuts and today I'd like to welcome our special friend, Barbara Bloodclot. Welcome, Barbara. Thanks, Prim. It's great to be here. <laughs> so, what fabulous handy household hints do you have for us today, darling? Well, today, Primrose, I'll be showing you how to do it yourself with those unmentionables around the house. Ooh, that yes. sounds fabulous, Barb. Tell me more. Yes, well, I'll be showing you how to make your own decorners out of old socks. Socks, um, how to wash and reuse old pieces of toilet paper, and how to make your own tampon. Ooh, that sounds fab, Yes. And now, Prim Darling, I think we can start with the dick warmers. Mm. Um, all you need is to find some old stokers lying idly around the house, proceed to cast on, and you're on your way. Ooh. And here we have one we've prepared beforehand. Voila! A gorgeous dick warmer to enhance even the most modest of willies. Ooh, darling! Oh. That's the right! What a fabulous home hint for all those premenstrual lower class housewives. Oh yes, and so saucy. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I've got some super saucy novelty dick warmers for those Special occasion. Can't my racing nerves fall? <laughs> yes. Now, I can show you the way to save a few of those diamond dollars to give yourself a makeover or something. Yes, and God knows you need one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, by recycling those old crusty bits of toilet paper. Oh, you know. hey, Bob, you don't mean to throw it against the wall and beat the shit out of it, do you? Oh, no. I mean, Scraping off the excess excrement and gently hand washing it, or else popping it in the gentle cycle and hanging it out to dry. Oh, what a novel idea, Bob! Yes! And don't they look great? Oh, darling! So, what other handy hints have you got for our budget conscious hip young housewives? Well, Prim, darling, I've got a way to avoid the unsubsidized expense of menstruation. Ooh, make your own time. Darling. Yeah, simply save those crusty old pieces of cotton wool that you used to take off your makeup and grab a needle and thread and you're on your way. Oh, yeah. darling, how provokingly economical. 
Jeff Capoe doing putting that on the welfare service oh, that you yes, yes. <laughs> yes, exactly, Primrose <laughs> Darling. And there's no need to worry about the overhang on the thread because no one's going to see. No one wants you in your case, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you're such a character, Prim, aren't you? <laughs> well, I think that's all for now, is it, Barb? I'd like to thank mm. our special guest, bitch, I mean, Barb, <laughs> Barb Clark. She's going to go and do a little bit of shopping or something. <laughs> Bye, darling. Mm. Now, after the break, we're going to come back with an underground tribute to that fabulous man, Ricky May. See you after the break. Yada Lado here for Get A Lifestyle and tonight I'm going to show you bloody veggies how to cook a good Aussie meal. First off we get some snags, the lean variety, available from any good butcher, find them locally. Next, olive oil is normally the best and don't you worry about what the doctor says about cholesterol. Chopped chives, Hoyt's tonight, a good Aussie brand, use them. And salt, just a pinch. A couple of eggs, your battery farms are normally the best. Now let's get the flame. Nice and hot. Ronnie Stodgewood here reporting from a footpath in Paran on the apparent couch crisis. Police and welfare groups are baffled to the disappearance of untold amounts of couches. Now we'll cross to our man on the street, Steve. Steve, over to you. Yes, that's right, Ronnie. I'm on the street now. Brown. <laughs> Brown couch. And and what do you think of um why do you think people get sucked into fashion? Because their fashion changes all the time. People want new stuff all the time. They can't stick to the boring same things all the time. You understand? And what fashion that follows from Europe would follow from here. Okay, and, and what's, what's your opinion on the UFO signing in Parliament House? Do you think it's true? No. What colour is your couch? Um, I don't own one. No couch at all. Chair? Um, one chair. And the colour? Um, it's natural wood. That would be brown, wouldn't it? Um, no. Alright. Yardo back. Get the pan on. Nice and hot. Now, whacking a bit of olive oil. Be generous, let it pour in. Oh, yeah, maybe a bit more, a bit more. Looking good. Now, we're whacking the snags. One, two, and three. In they go, sizzling away merry. Nice and hot. Now, now you blokes. Pinch of salt. Yep. In it goes. Oh, what do they put bloody lids on these things? Good on ya. There she goes. Yep. Keep the heat on them. Look at that. Sizzling good. Oh, yep. Might cut for a slash. Hi. Kate Mop here on behalf of the fashion industry. Is your ass too big? Probably. What about your thighs? You need some decent clothes to cover up that shambles of a body. And that face. <laughs> Fuck, for God's sake, put some makeup on. Who do you think you are? Feeling guilty yet? Well, do something about it, loser. We can't survive without your help. We thrive on your insecurities. If you don't feel inadequate, we don't get paid. Summer's coming soon. You need new clothes, new makeup, new hair, and new size. Don't be the only blob on the beach. So give till it hurts. Fashion needs you. Hey, what's this? That's my extremely large sanitary napkin. <laughs> Are you tired of those embarrassing menstrual trails running down the inside of your legs on those I'm having my period days? Yeah, try new ultra huge. Yeah, look, I'm wearing one now and no one has to know. <laughs> 
And the added bonus is the delicious scent that's released at intervals to disguise that unmentionable smell. Yeah, I'm fed up with those I'm having my period day clothes. Look! You girls are right. You should be comfortable. Oh, oh what shut would up. You know, you non bleeding sperm carrying patriarch. Yeah. God, come on. <laughs> girls just <laughs> want to have fun. Oh, girl. Time checking the snags, moving around, get the oil moving. Might just need a pinch of salt. Nah, touch more oil. Just a dash this time. And she goes. Now, sprinkle the chives. Hold points. No, half a pack. In they go. Bloody beautiful. Get the flavour right through the meat. Yeah, you just want to move them around a bit, make sure everything's covered. They're looking pretty good. I'm going to press the shielders with this slot. Move them around, get the chives soaking. They should all be swimming in that oil. Now, it might be time to give them a bit of a poke. Boom. Hey guys. Yeah. Make sure they're all done. Move them around. Bloody beautiful. That heat's still hot. Keep it warm. Just about ready now, so it's time for the eggs. Grab your battery farm, in she goes. That. The oil will hold them in place so you don't have to worry. Now, second one, in she goes. Now those chives, they might be sticking to your eggs, but that's a good sign because you'll know the flavor's through and through. Just move them around, look at it. That's a beautiful low cholesterol. Beautiful, bloody beautiful. Now you might just want to put a little bit of dead horse on the side, serving, and we'll be back, check them in just a few moments. We're wondering what colour your couch is. Our couch is a shit brown colour. <laughs> Beautiful. We cover it with 
some sort of like really uh, purpley pink uh, tie-dyed material. Yeah. Here we are with the presentation. Have a look at that. Add that dead horse. Get it all round. Looking good. I'm Yardo the Lardo. Get a lifestyle. We're just wondering what colour your couch is. What colour my couch is? It's red with little green Chinese, uh, blue Chinese people all over it. Oh, interesting. Very. Where do you stand on the legalisation of marijuana? <laughs> so that's a yes for it. Further questions? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Same I, as about 30, 40 percent of the rest of Australians. I'm in favour of it. Yeah, that's good. That's Absolutely. Good. Um, I was wondering if you think there's any fashion victims around here. Yeah, mate. City yourself oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. I wear, I wear an Akuba and nobody else does. Everybody else wears baseball hats on backwards. But that, we're here at the annual Bastard Landlords Convention and Awards Ceremony. We've just heard an interesting speech on how to retain your tenants' bond money. I've got a young man here who's going to tell me about the dangers of Blue Tack. Blue Tack! One of the greatest ways to get your bond back off your tenants. Just get my brother in, charges 800 bucks for paint job, mate, cost him about 75. Great tradesman, no papers, but it's great, mate. The only way, 800 bucks straight off. And, um, just out of interest, what's he got to do with blue tack? Blue tack, mate! It, it, it looks harmless in the packet. You buy it in the packet, it looks harmless, you know. You get it out of the packet, stick it on your wall, there goes your $800 paint job straight down the tubes, mate. It's, it's great. Um, but if you do two layers of paint, the blue tack won't peel the paint off. I don't understand what you mean. Why paint the house twice? <laughs> Why? <laughs> that was good. That was good. All right, Can we continue from that? We're going somewhere. Just keep going then. Okay. All right. Move your feet around a little bit more when you're talking to. But I don't talking. So we're nervous. Um, no. Blue tack. Well, stand your feet, mate. <laughs> okay, and keep going. So...